I don't think Stephen can hear me. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to start drinking heavily today. I'm going to drink. I'm going to start drinking really. I'm going to get the bottle. I'm just going to drink from the <laughs> bottle. <laughs> All right, boys, here we go. This is 2OF Entertainment. Muscatels, we're back. So, and and I would like to be smoking a cigar, a cigar today, but it's pouring rain, and outs, and so our outside studio is 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 all wet. So, unfortunately, I will I will not be able to partake. But I had a beautiful, beautiful special cigar for today, which I'll I guess have next week. So there you go. It's just that it's just that Raza cursed you this time because he can figure that out and he could see that him doing all those crazy things and saying all those crazy things last week are going to go yeah. in his face. So before he could have like taken that, he is just like kind of cursed one of us. So unfortunately, it went towards your side. I it went to his, I have it goes in his permanent Stephen. file. I, I have to compliment Stephen already. The fact that I wasn't able to make it last week and that you were able to do an AI-generated show... <laughs> It's <laughs> outstanding. Uh, that technology uh, has got to a level yeah. which I oh, frankly don't so understand. Yeah. I'm very it's happy that you managed to fill in for me somehow. I think we what did. you did is you took past videos and yes. you sort of like uh, fed it into the computer and it we gave did. you a result. It did. But it was a bit of a, a woke kind of computer simulation. It was. It was. We just um, thought that would be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say I'm back. Okay. And, um, right. and here now I am. I know Raza, I think that's a good story to cover up for your last week's shenanigans. But, uh, <laughs> I think people know what you've been up to, uh, and your Insta was quite uh, vocal about the filthy habit. I, so, I, 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 I honestly don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> really, we have vid- we have lots of video and lots of shorts out. If people yeah. want to see them, there's tons of shorts. There's actually one of you say you're going to quit smoking. Which oddly enough got a few thousand views, which I just laughed my <laughs> butt off the whole time I see that. I go play it. I'm like, oh my god! And we put that as a as an Instagram short, and we put that as a short on YouTube, and that one got lots and lots of views and comments. So I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, by the way, yeah. off the bat, let me tell you, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sitting in my own studio today. I'm sitting somewhere in Northwest London. I forget the name. Um, uh, it's uh, a place called you know, Whetstone. You know, you actually, spend- oh, there it is. Now he's, uh, I'm sitting outside Arc Cigars, and the uh, the owner is sitting over here, breathing uh-huh. down my neck, wanting that. You're more than welcome to do a shout out. Come say hello. If, if he does a shout out, I want cigars. This is Mr. Camlish. Hey, hey how you doing? Yeah, you see, I like to do this thing. I like wait, wait, to do why this isn't? Wait a minute. Why isn't? Why isn't he on the show? He is. There he no, is. no. Why isn't he uh, sitting out on a show smoking a cigar with us? Well, no. Why does he have his own camera? Let me show them. Epic uh, number three. Epic oh, three. very nice. Listen, I, I've got a customer. So, guys, I've got a customer. I've got I'll be back. Customer. No I'll worries. Back. See you. See you later. <laughs> A, li- a live show. Listen, I tell him I'll be expecting my box of Epi threes next week. Yes, um, the yeah, yeah. Smoking, stop smoking shit cigars. He's onto the Cubans now. Thank <laughs> God. So, not those new new world things that you don't like. I will say this: I have to give a shout out to Oliva V. The president of Oliva V is now um, linked to me on LinkedIn. So I thought that was very nice. So shout out to Oliva V Cigars. I love their cigars. So um, you know, anytime you need us to promote them, so, send the box. Do you, do you know the president of Oliva V by any chance? I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. Well, I know I, a person who can help you. Stephen can link you the, up. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the reason the reason I do not know is that I love their nubs. I hate their Olivas. See, now, I'm a big Oliva V uh, fan. I'm no. not a fan of the nubs. 
Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not a nub has never done anything for me. The Oliva V's have always been my like one of my favorites. See, I I, I, I am such a big fan that I Oh, you have a box of nubs. This is this is like their uh, what they say um, the the humidor box which I have. Wow! Uh, so it's it's a humidor, and the best part about this is it has um, this. So you can just take this off, put in the yeah, uh, and it, so it's it's a humidor. And I very nice. This. Yeah, and it's it's a very pretty cool thing. And you get them uh, uh, from, if I'm not wrong, I got it from JR Cigars in the U.S. Oh, uh, sure. Time. Yeah, but I mean, so so those are like my favorites and go to. Uh, Olivas, for some odd reason, everyone has spoken very highly about it. I have never liked them. I think really? I'm going to give it another try sometime okay. soon. Yeah, but but I but since you're you're a fan, let me know which ones are the good ones, or so that I can just look into those. I did. I like their double Toro, the Oliva V double Toro, and I like the Oliva V the, the 135th anniversary one that just came out. Is it the one you've seen me smoke on air? Um, that's oh. a really good. That's a really good Oliva. I, I enjoy that one as well. That seems to be really good. I can do that. But today, sorry guys, I'm, I'm leaning I, into the shop from time to time wait. because I can't hear. That's all. Yeah. So, 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 like so, it matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> like it matters. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm number one in many people's book. Yeah. So, what are you for smoking? Today, for today, my choice is also a non Cuban. It's a non Cuban punch. Okay. I've had I, one of those. Yeah, I, I'm trying this for the first time. It is called as Rare Corojo, and it's a box pressed. Mm. Okay. So, so, so as you say, I mean, I'm also not a big fan of the box press, but let's see. I goes a friend gave it to me. I was like, let's let's give it a try and see how it goes. I've actually smoked that one. I thought it was okay. Okay. So cool. we'll see what you come up with. And Riz, what are you? Yes, we know you're at, you're in London. You're promoting a guy. Um, I'm assuming we're getting boxes of cigars for this free promotion. Not in, I'm not smoking a Monte Cristo. Why? Edmundo. Can you see Ooh, it? Oh, very nice. Yes, we can. Raza? Yes, sir. You don't say Edmundo. You say Edmundo. Edmundo. Yeah. I bought it. I say whatever I want. <laughs> oh, my God. But he's our sommelier. You have to listen to what he's going to teach you, how to, how to be a, have elegance with your cigar. And, 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 I, and I'm a real resident clown. So yes, oh, you are. Direction. Yeah, you're going to take us somewhere. Hey, talking about part, taking us somewhere. Go ahead. The, fu the fun part is he knows exactly why I said it at Mundo's as compared yeah. to that. Mundo, it has nothing to do with the cigar, but right. something else. And I'm sure he's, he's going to share it with you in private. <laughs> I'm sure. And I see uh, for you, you've added a person to your collection of dolls in the background. So that's very nice. So there you go. Yeah, I saw that you added him. Has he got yeah, no, not this in guy. The no, this guy. Oh, Jay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A proper non-Cuban, an Argentinian, yeah. a New World cigar smoker. A New World <laughs> cigar smoker. Who's dead? <laughs> well, he, was, he, was, he was not a New World cigar smoker per se. A lot right. of Cuban cigars are with his name. But yes, he did. He did venture into all the other kind of stuff. Very cool. Well, now, now that Riz is back from his, you know, filthy habit, I'm going to die. I had COVID. <laughs> your, I could, I could die at any moment. AI generated video. Sure. Sure, sure. Let's go with that. Um, now, now that you're back we from that. We with that because it took me a whole week to think about it. So it's a good I'm one. sure it did. I'm sure it did. Because you finally, yes, because I know the next day you were at a cigar event because I saw you, you tagged us on Instagram. The next yeah. day you were at another event and another event. And all I kept thinking to myself every time I was posting all our shorts from last week is I'm having too much fun with this. So the one where you're quitting smoking was my best. I love that one. So. Yes, I know. <laughs> so now, because you were in a, a high stupor last week, do you remember the topic for this week? Yeah, oh. the topic was classic car drivers. And, um, <laughs> I, I, I have picked my top three classic car drivers. Good, 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 good. Sterling uh, Moss, uh -huh. um, yeah. uh, Fangio, and I'm going with... Michael Schumacher, because it is 20 years ago, 30 years ago. 
That's awesome. Um, actually, the topic today was drug lords. So um, you did really good. Thanks for uh, slowing the show down. Um, so let's hope that you, you picked your favorite drug lords. In fact, I have my drug lords on a whole screen that you guys can't see, just in case anybody picks any of mine. I have 20 of the best drug lords. Um, so I am ready to go. And, and, and they're all, I did all American because I went to China. May, may I make a tiny, tiny little correction? Tiny Please, little correction. Please, feel Go ahead. It is interesting. It is interesting mm -hmm. that given that the topic was drugs, you yeah. went in the drug lord direction. Of course. <laughs> this says a lot about what was on your mind. At the oh time. yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I had a little bit more of an open topic uh -huh. in mind. Anything uh -huh. to do with drugs. It could be drug administrators. It could be people who develop drugs. I had yeah. a more a healthier uh, <laughs> uh, outlook. <laughs> To this, but I, it, yeah. it, it is wonderful you went in the drug lord direction. Well, listen, I'm going right. I'm going, going where the money is. I'm going where the billionaires are, pal. I don't. I don't hang out with the millionaires. I go right for the billionaires. So <laughs> we're going to talk about stuff. You know, go for it. No, they're you here. For, no, no, no. Or is one going first? You, you. It's your show. You tell us. Well, I'm going. My theme was drugs. I'm going with Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. Oh, the there's a good one. The person, and because the person who exemplifies drugs, who's still alive, who shouldn't be alive, really, who's right. done drugs, every drug on the planet, I'm sure, and has the constitution of an ox, uh, he would be great cigar company, I think. With a, with having said that, with a cigarette perched casually yeah. on his lower lip, just dangling, yeah. and a cigar and a few drinks, Keith oh. Richards would be my choice number one on the drugs theme. Very nice. Well, and, you know, Richard Simmons just died, who was eating healthy, lived healthy, and whatever. And Keith Richards, who I think is, and I don't know this, I'm just assuming, has done every drug known to man. I think um, yes. is, and, and, he still, it. and he admits it. And he's still ticking at like 80 plus. So yeah. God bless you, Keith. You keep going. So very good. I like that. It's a good opening uh, gambit. Think, on top of that, I think he's good uh, cigar and dinner and drinks company. Yes. And... Uh, and hang on, so let's let's tie in some uh, uh, movies here. He yeah. was the inspiration behind Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp. Johnny really? Depp is playing Keith Richards, which is why in one of the Pirates in the Caribbean movies they actually had Keith Richards make a cameo. I did not know that that was uh, now you know. So when you see Johnny Depp doing this, this, this sort of like, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's doing Keith Richards. Wow. All right. Johnny Depp. Good to know. There we go. All Johnny right. Depp. Play uh, Johnny Depp two or three more times. We'll get into the shorts. And put it uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we can yes, AI generate anything. We're going to break so. the system one way or the other. There you go. <laughs> well, who's going next? Usman or myself? I can do that if you want. If you're okay with it. I, so, okay. I will I, decide who's going next. One of you two. Oh, thank oh you my God. <laughs> I can't, you know what, Osman? I liked him better last week. Anyway, go ahead, Osman. You go, I'll go last. <laughs> I, I, I was actually going to ask, was that the AI generated or is this the AI generated? I'm not really sure yet. I haven't figured that one out. <laughs> I got 20 bucks that says his camera dies during the show. Go ahead, Osman. Who do you have? No, it's very windy. Okay. So, so, so for me, um, I've, I've got a mix of guests, and uh, of course, the first one is related to the drugs and drug lords and all of that, and that, for me, was Pablo Escobar. Uh, of course. We, you can't do Pablo Escobar. I did Pablo Why? Escobar two months ago. We cannot have so repeat I, guests. Again, once again, I wasn't born then, so I have no huh? idea. Pablo no, Escobar is. have to play around it. Next one. No, no, no. Well... The other could have been Joaquin, but I would still stay with uh, Pablo Escobar, given the fact that he is, well, he was known at his time and his contemporaries, but the fact that the way Netflix has actually made him so popular yeah. is also uh, something which, we, and, and, and now there's a new documentary which has come up, uh, 500 Days with Pablo Escobar. So that is very interesting knowing and seeing the actual documentary and, and a lot of things. I think that would be a very interesting dinner guest to uh, sit with and nice. talk about. Look at the, I'm not sure, 
I'm not sure whether to the rappers to smoke a cigar okay. and be in our own zone with him or not. But yeah, that'll be a good, interesting thing. Very good. Um, I would go with, and we needed Riz because he's too busy talking to other people, not paying attention to his own show. What <laughs> else is new? Um, I went, you know, now that I'm seeing the direction you guys went into, like a bunch of pussies, I'm oh, picking, I'm, I'm picking a famous actor who died of a drug overdose. Then I'm going to go with John Belushi. JB. Um, JB, uh-huh. John Belushi. Now, uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know if John smokes cigars, but I know his brother, Jim smokes cigars. Um, Cause Jim Belushi is a big cigar smoker, but John Belushi, if we're going to talk about drugs, that was a tragic, tragic overdose, John Belushi. Cause I like John Belushi. He's a funny guy the, from the blues brothers to, uh, you know, everything else he did. He's just a funny guy. Yeah. Reza, you're, you're next, pal. Stop checking out the women. Uh, I, I was only in my head. Yeah. Only in my head. <laughs> His wife watches the show. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, our three dinner guests right now are Keith Richards, Pablo Escobar, and John Belushi. Who do you got? Who's our next dinner guest? Can I let one of you two go first whilst I cogitate and digest my next guest. I can I can do that. Go I ahead. Go. For me, second in the gate would be very interesting who has some Pakistani roots as well. But the famous singer, Freddie Mercury from Queen. Oh, love Freddie Mercury. But yes. he didn't die. He died of AIDS though. Did, I don't I know if he did drugs. But I mean, uh, since the topic was drugs, so yeah. someone who was very much into drugs of any kind okay. kind of hampered his entire career because of a lot of stuff like that is what I'm referring to here. So, and, and, the, fact that I, and the fact that I like the music, so it'll be interesting to have him there play yeah. something for him. Oh, Queen, I would, I love, I still listen to Queen to this day and Freddie yeah. Mercury. I always get a kick out of We Are The Champions oh, um, yeah. sorry, I, or, and his anthem songs because all these big brulee guys that make fun of gay people are stomping out and rocking out to stadiums around the world to a song, but written and sung by a gay guy. And I think that's hysterical that they're like, we are the champions and we will rock you. And all these songs that he did, that they play anthems, they play these anthems at football, football games around the world. And they're all like, we don't like the gays and we don't like this. And meanwhile, they're all rocking out the who Freddie Mercury. (laughs) Gotta love it. Gotta love you. God bless you, Freddie. Absolutely right. All right, Mizzle, what do you got, buddy? I was going to say you should go because Raza is still checking out people outside. Yeah, yeah, no, he is. I, I want Stephen to go next. I want to be the last one on this one. Okay. So I'm going to go with not a celeb, well, kind of a celebrity, but not a celebrity. So I have two people. I have a guy that Johnny Depp played in a movie, and then I have a guy that is American lore. So it's a, it's a tough choice, but I'm going to go with Al Capone, who was Al Capone. Uh, was a was a drug was a drug dealer from the and a bootlegger from the 20s and the 30s. And for those people that don't know who Al Capone is, look him up. Um, but yeah, Al Capone, I think, would be an interesting person to have. Um, he would, uh, he would be a very dinner. interesting. Uh, actually, I think he'd be a very interesting dinner guest to have. And you'd have to be careful if he's walking around the dinner table with a. Baseball, baseball bat, as, yeah. uh, as played by Robert De Niro in yep. um, uh, The Untouchables. Yeah. Where uh, pro- one of his dinner uh, guests uh, dim- has a sort of a messy ending. Yeah. Let's put it that way. <laughs> there you go. The right now is that you, you robbed me of my third choice, so I will think about something else. Oh, I robbed it of you? That's why I have a list of 20 on my <laughs> screen over here. Is it my turn? Stupid. Is it my turn? Is, oh, yes, darling. It's your turn. Please tell us. So my, <laughs> first, my first guest was Keith Richards. Yes. Mm-hmm. Who's your second guest? And I suggested that um, Jack Sparrow is modeled on Keith Richards. Sure. Now, if you say drugs today... One of the celebrities that comes to mind almost immediately because of his confessions at trial is Johnny Depp. I would have Johnny okay. Depp as my second guest. All right, nice. Johnny Depp. And uh, he's no stranger to drugs, taking them on private jets, flying around the world. All right. Uh, I think he's a bit of a cool customer. All right. And 
I would enjoy having Keith Richards and Johnny Depp at the same table. Only if they do Jack Sparrow Im- impersonations I've the whole like dinner. I've never seen Johnny Depp smoking a cigar, but I think that could be something he might get into. Well, he smokes those those little French cigarellos because he's being, you know, sophisticated, like you wanted to be last week. Because um, it's a filthy, filthy habit, I remember someone saying. But anyway, I, I Johnny Depp. On the AI generated video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Um, I think Johnny Depp would be a very interesting guy. I think he's an interesting person. In fact, he and I went to the same middle school together. We were two years apart. What oh. I actually meant to say by filthy habit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Is anything non-Cuban is a filthy habit. <laughs> okay. That, I, I, have, I, have, I have so many comments, I'm not going to say anything because I would get it. I'm a I bit of a hater. Hate yeah, I see that. But yeah, Johnny Depp and I went to the same middle school for um, two years apart. So yeah. In Los so, Angeles? No, he went to middle school in Hollywood, Florida. No, Hollywood's in Los Angeles. Hollywood, Florida. You can't just make these names up. I can do whatever. I, it's 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 your show. I can do whatever I want. Apparently, um, but there's a Hollywood, Florida, and there's a Hollywood, California. You guys, have to, difficult. You guys have difficulty he, coming up with original names. You he went to make. Yeah, we do. He went to McNichol Middle School in Hollywood, Florida. Wow, that's a cool uh, yeah. tie up there. Yeah, there, there you go. With Johnny Depp, a few years apart. Yeah, it was. I remember. I I never knew that, and I watched an interview one day, and he goes, "Oh." I lived in Hollywood, Florida. And I'm like, oh, so I okay. And then he said, I went to McNichol Middle School. And I was like, holy shit, I went to McNichol. And then I was like, someone's like, oh, yeah, you guys are like two or three years apart. So I think I was probably leaving as he was coming in. Oh, so it was very cool. interesting. Yeah, so it was very cool. So there you go. That's my Johnny Depp connection, which Johnny <laughs> could care less about. So there you have it. So did you like, did you like my second dinner guest? Johnny Depp, yes. I, I always found him fascinating. Um, his choice of characters and whatnot, you know, listen, I don't, the, the, the Amber Hurt and his, I watched the thing on HBO and Netflix. I thought that was very interesting, but you know, to me, it was sort of like, okay, that's their personal life. I don't really care, but yeah, I would, I would love that dinner with him. I like that dinner. Anytime we have dinner guests that we talk about, I would like to have dinner guests with any of these guys because they're all fascinating in one way or another. Listen, even Absolutely. the average person on the street is fascinating. Right, you just have to talk to them. So you know, right. except Riza. There's lots know. of average people on this street. I wouldn't have dinner with any of them. <laughs> I think it's the other way around, my friend. But anyway, so, uh, can, so I, who, can I can I give you a little bit of a showcase of where I am? Get, please, know, please. We, yeah, I'll, I'll give nice. you a solo shot. I, yeah. Let me. Let me. So, can you see? I see. I'm on a typical high street. Very. It's that's high. Nice. Wow! Look at that. There's a guy behind you. And there's a shop there. Wow. wow. Look at that. Very nice. And there is a, there's a humidor. Can you see this? That hum- the, there's like we can see the yeah. 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 There's a bar at the end. There's, there's a wine store. Very and, nice. Uh, I thought I'd... And this one is called number... No. Uh, Arc. Arc. Cigars and wine. <laughs> Now, if somebody if somebody from the show sees this and goes there, is he going to give them like a ten percent discount if they mention the show? I can ask the owner. Does anyone get a ten percent discount if they see the show and quote the show when they arrive? He says yes. Okay, so if they can book the Havana Cigar Show, you can go. Rizzo will give you the address at the end of the show for your ten percent discount. Discount on all chocolates and sundries. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So good luck with that. So, all right, boys. Who do we have as our third? And final dinner guest time. I suggest Stephen goes first, Osman goes second, I go third. Oh, wow. Because he's got a, he's going to pull. Someone's making decisions today. Wow. I can see. You know why? Because he's mad about his AI apparently generated video last week because he was dying. A disservice. Yes, it was a disservice. I have to give some thought to my third choice because I do have a list. So I can go with a drug dealer, like an Al capone type. Or I can go with another celebrity overdose. So it's kind of a tough, it's a tough call because I don't know which way I want to go. So I'm going to, let me go to my list and I'm going to pick the top drug dealer list. And Who's I'm going to go, list, huh? I'm, I, you know, I'm just, well, this is what, already been taken. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I've got, here's a guy that probably no one's ever heard of, but if it wasn't for this guy, you wouldn't have heroin today. Frank Lucas is an American drug dealer who operated in Harlem in 1960s and that's 1970s. Right. That's, that's the movie, American Gangster. Yeah, Frank, Frank Lucas. Lucas. There you go. Frank Lucas would be one of our dinner guests. Yeah, well, that's a very dangerous dinner guest. Yes. Lucas, apparently. Yes, he was. But I figure he would be an interesting dinner guest. Because we wouldn't upset him. We would just smoke cigars and have scotch. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so, you know. Very good. Good choice. Thank you. So. Okay, for my third choice, I have Robert Downey Jr. Oh, nice. And why I say that is somebody... The ultimate went... junkie. The ultimate 80s junkie. Right. Yeah. See, again, went to the extreme <clears throat> and then came back. So we have examples of people who actually have been addicted for a long right. time and, all that, and went to the rehab and have come back completely and, 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 come, uh, and, and set an example for right, right. people to actually come out. So, so if you see, out of all of my three choices, the drug lord, someone who was a very good singer and, and was into that uh, thing, yet <clears throat> impacted, and the third one who comes clean out of that. So I think that should be a good, interesting dinner table. Uh, from that perspective, whenever I get a chance to. Very cool. Well, I, I like I like Robbie Downey Jr. I remember him when he was a wild child in the '80s and all this stuff. But I think I saw I read an interview or saw an interview where he's been like uh, alcohol and drug free. I want to say for twenty plus years, and he credits it a lot to his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and, good for Robert. And and, 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 and the fact and, and the fact that Iron Man. Is oh, something which, sure. I, I, which I really enjoy. So I think I, I, I'm happy to see that somebody connected to that is very much out of the whole thing. Right. So, I actually I like him in Chaplin and Doctor Doolittle. Oh, I that's like awesome. that one. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's your cigar. Yes, we're aware. He's, he's already eaten. He's already eaten half of it. Yeah, he's all. This he's is a great wide end window. It's a great. I, I want to show you something. Sure. I want to oh. show you. I don't know if it translates the thickness of the wrapper yeah. on the cigar that holds the integrity of this stick together. Yeah. I really enjoy it when there's a thick wrapper on a cigar. It's a lot of girls say the same thing. It's a confidence inspiring moment. You know it's not going to give way at any stage. Smoking yeah. really well. Very it's a mild cigar. It's a um, cedary cigar. Do I get any coffee or chocolatiness in it? I get burnt caramel. Nice. Very nice. Very interesting. But now, now talking of cigars, I think I am smoking tobacco. That's the only thing <laughs> I'm getting from this. I told you. And, and, this, and, and this, is, this is very rare that I don't really get a lot of notes. I think I am getting primarily just the uh, CB earthy, earthy notes. That basically is not much variation. It's going to happen. Okay. So, but but overall, the, the it is smoking very fine, and I think I, I it's not to my distaste. So yeah, I'll give it a go. That's fine. Yeah. Well, it's a new it's a new world cigar. It's the oh, like I said, when I smoke my new world cigars, I'm not. I, I as I said to somebody yesterday when we were talking about it on ad hoc, I said when I smoke a new world cigar, I'm do I'm doing it for the smoke. And the, and the smell that I get from the smoke, I'm not doing it for any taste because there's no taste because they're big smokes, right? And when I smoke a Cuban, I get, I get a halfway decent smoke, but I'm not doing it for the smoke when I'm smoking a Cuban. I'm getting, I want it more for the taste. I know. I, this morning, watched that show of yours, the ad hoc show. Yeah, yeah, with Morton. Yes. And, uh, and the discussion on the Cuban cigars as well on that. Yeah, a little bit. Yes. Because he went, he went on holiday. And he texted me while I was on holiday and he was at a cigar store. He goes, what cigars should I buy? And I said, what do they have? And that's how, so he wanted to discuss that. So we discussed Cubans, New World, whatever, but you know, we won't, that we won't discuss cigars again on that show for a hundred years. So, but it was an interesting show. We had a good time with it. So this is the cigar show. We mentioned this show on his show a hundred times. And if you want to know about cigars, you have to come here. So. That's Everybody awesome. knows. Having said a lot of that, if Raza is done with peeping around and looking around at different yeah, yeah. people, I, I have my third guest. You can, I have my yeah. third guest. 
Oh, Would it be you nice? Really have one. I was like, you have one? Yeah, I'm going I thought cool. he was just stalling it. He, st- he was just stalling it and making us go through the tours and all that stuff. I know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going for a semi controversial choice here Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> In the right direction, I'm going for uh, a lady guest. Oh, uh, Winehouse? Close, uh, okay. in, in terms of genre. Okay. I'm going for someone who would make a fabulous dinner guest. Who Mama exited, Cass. Who exited the world stage, uh, apparently on a drugs overdose. Okay. Um, in one of my, uh, she was in one of my favorite movies of all time, Some Like It Hot. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. She was oh. killed by this. She was killed by whoever. That she didn't go uh, dive an overdose. Come on. Well, there you go. <laughs> there, there's there's the mythos. There's the legend. Um, drugs overdose, whatever it is. But she's yeah, famously yeah. known for dying from a drugs overdose, I believe. Well, um, she's famously known for being the president's girlfriend. Let's go with that. How cool is that? <laughs> how cool is I know, right? For who? The president or her? Uh, it depends. Which one is in heaven? Which one's in hell? You know that joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, here's the but, here's the uh, interesting no, thing. I figured Monroe, you were going to either go with, yeah. I've, I've, I've been trying always to have female dinner guests, good-looking female dinner guests. It's not always possible given the topics we pick. But I thought did you pick? The other, I would incorporate her <laughs> into the show. So Marilyn Monroe, it is. For as long as I said, I very nice. Well, did, um, she smoked something else for sure. Anyway, but um, um, we're here till Thursday. Tip your weight staff. Um, but then honor, honor, honorable mention then would have to go to like a Whitney Houston, Amy Winehouse, Mama Cass, all female Basically, singers who died of overdose. Any pop star and any movie star. Not really. I don't think all of them are on. I don't think all. I don't think Arnold Schwarzenegger ever did drugs, did he? As, as an honorable mention, I would say Rosinda Blanco, the, the, the drug mother in the New York. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a very famous movie director, or um, I think he was a, a novel writer. Again, it's a Johnny Depp connection. You know the movie okay. Leaving Las Vegas? Uh, not Leaving, is it Leaving Las Vegas? Yeah. Leaving Las Vegas? No, you're thinking of the movie where he plays the writer, what's his, the, the writer right. guy. I know the who you're writer. talking about, but it's not now Leaving, it's not leaving Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, he, um, I can't remember his name, but I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name, but I can see his face. But, Hold on. Uh, no, there's no end of drug users and abusers. Um, uh, but it's the interesting ones that stand out, and so for me, Marilyn Monroe. Keep okay. going. I'm going to find out who he played. Um, uh, was it was it Rum Diary? Is that who we're thinking, or not, not Rum Diary? Diary. Not All right, hold on. I think it had something to do with Las Vegas, or it was okay. Oh, fear. No, no. Here it is. I found it. I found fear it. Fear and loathing in Las. Loathing Vegas. in Las Vegas. Yep. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas, and he played Hunter S. Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson, who's notorious played Hunter S. Thompson. on a totally oh, yeah. psychedelic trip throughout his life. 24-7. 24-7, that's right. Yeah. You got to love a man who has a conviction. There so. we go. Well, you got to get up to get down. That's what they tell me. So, yeah, I know. So, well, this was this is your interesting dinner guest. This is a very eclectic group. Um, half are alive and half are dead. So some, like Keith Richards and Johnny Depp and Robert Downey Jr., we... Yeah could actually have dinner with. Yeah. We could, like, if they see the show, we could actually have a dinner with these gentlemen. They're not dead yet. Yeah. So, there, you see? So, it's a good show. And then the others that are dead, uh, not so much. Yeah. I think this is the benefits of sitting outside with a good cigar. Normally, I have my cigar finished near the end of the show. I'm only halfway through. Okay. uh, Yellow banded white Edmundo. I see that, and I'm usually outside with my cigar. But like I said, because of the storm, uh, outside studio is sopping wet, so we don't want to bring electronics out there because one of us would be shocked, and we don't want that. So there you go. That's right. So, well, that was an interesting dinner. So, is there another topic we want to discuss before we go, or we know what we're going to talk about next week? Do you have anything <laughs> exciting for that? Have you guys not come up with topics for next week? <laughs> well, no, we can have your AI-generated self do that if you'd like, but we thought maybe, you know, your show, you should have topics. 
and you give me the answer. I ask a question, and you, you know, give me we're, the answer. If you're going to sit outside, we have to buy you one of those like 20-pound microphones you can wear on your shirt that no, actually you, kills no, the you wind. You gave me the answer. You gave me the answer. I asked no, I'm talking something. about a microphone. Okay. <laughs> the answer is yeah. AI. Anything to do with AI. So the topic next week is AI. Okay. AI. AI technology. Uh, I, Anything to do that. Uh, it could be science fiction. It could be. I real know where I'm AI. going. All right. I got it. I know where I'm going with this. The problem with this is he's going to forget it once again. Oh, I know. Gonna, yeah. And, and he's going to come up and start doing all his filthy things that he was doing mm -hmm. last week. And oh, yeah. I know. Say, the entire show was AI generated. Of course. So, and, and he's going to use all of last week's show for his, yeah. his AI stuff for next week. I'm aware. I know how this is going to play out. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do the homework like we usually do. And he's going to sit there and look pretty and not have a clue what we're talking about. So, yeah, I got it. The best part is that the day we have to record the show, I am always waiting for my lunchtime. Because right. by the lunchtime or around that, there is like this pop-up which comes, dress up. Did you call me? And before even picking the call, I exactly know what the question is going to be. What's the topic? Are we recording today? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a call today? Did you get a call today? Yeah. Okay. And for, for his sake, I actually recorded the last show's clipping. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Stephen, I can't call you because if, if, if I call you, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning for you. I can't no, up with man because he's in Pakistan. So it's... That's fine. I'm up. Time zone. It's a time zone yeah. driven activity. I just look at our group chat and I just laugh because I see. I just. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm just like, okay. I mean, I know that you're calling one of us, and I know if you can't get a Huzman, I know an hour after 3 a.m. there, you're going to be calling me. I know how this works because I send you guys a text <laughs> message when I'm done working out saying, "All right, the show's going to start in two hours or three hours. What, what Don't time? forget. What, what's your local time, Stephen? Right now, it's nine o'clock yeah. in the morning. Nine when I get time, up, it's four. Time? It's it's seven o'clock in the evening. So I'm somewhere in the middle. Yeah, you're three o'clock. All right, that's a good three o'clock. Three time zones, three continents, and three levels of cigar smoking. Well, oh, today yeah. I don't have one, but next week, next week I'll have my yeah. special cigar. You see, even that the non-cigar smoking is included <laughs> yeah. in this group. Oh, oh well, oh, that was you last oh. week. Now, th yeah, th that was no, no. this week that he's smoking and venturing out in the world. He's actually picking up on us while we have still, despite the fact that you're not smoking, you're all in praise for the cigars. Unlike him, right. who was talking something shit like some dried leaves, you guys. Are yeah, yeah, what was that dry leaf crap he kept talking about? <laughs> so, yes, it's, you, it's, you it's just, exactly. as I say, we, it's. It's incredible what AI can do. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> well, next week's AI, I've already got a list of AI things now for next week. So I'm very excited about this. Yeah. So this is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit a lot of stuff for AI. So I'm looking forward to that. So hey, really quick, because I know um Donnie Trump watches our show because you know you and he are very tight. I, um, I, was, I, was I know this is gonna come into the show. I, I, I figured I'd bring it up for him and just get the pain over with. Um, he's got comp he's got some competition now. It looks like Miss Harris is going to run for president like in the Democratic Party. That's not competition. Okay. I, I that's, that's, like, that's, like, that's, like, that's like a wet eel running against a kangaroo. In, all right. In this, all right. One, in this one, it seems like I am inside Raza. I don't think that's a competition. I Unfortunately, I agree. I don't. I, unless she does something spectacular or picks a great running mate, I don't yeah. see where she. And I mean this with all due respect. Where she has the balls um, and the and the following that he does, only because it's a popularity contest. And we said this a couple of days ago on, on one of the other shows. Is that nobody knows who it is. Oh my God! Stop! Just and stop! Three Please. Later, punch the air. That's balls. That's intense. punching the air. That's class. I just punched the air. There you go. Punch the Stay air. Strong. Hey, Reza, and he Reza and he was going and he was going to use this as a campaign thing, but it's trademarked by the Black Panthers, and they won't let him use it. 
if like if like Mr. Trump, I worked hard my whole life and made billions, I also would like to discombobulate the political system. I'm sorry, one more time, please. <laughs> <laughs> On record. Right. I mean, we did listen. We we all read we all read your book. How to take a billion dollars in real estate and turn it into twenty five dollars cash? We all read it, and we're very proud that you wrote that. But yeah, we all read that book. It was very good. This just sounds like hating to me. Hating. To oh, me. here we go. Yeah. So, well, that's what the fans expect. So that's it. So, once before we leave, why don't you tell everybody where you're at? Um, not that you'll be there when they see this, but if they come and mention the Habana Cigar Show. So, I am sitting in North London at Arc. Cigars and Park. okay, uh, it's a leafy suburb of London. I'm sitting in the terrace outside with lots of uh, uh, wine and liqueurs and Habanos cigars and New World cigars here. Um, it's a really a, a, a good fun range. I, I trek up here uh, um, most weeks, sometimes twice a week. It's a great place. Uh, so um, whoever's watching. Give it a shout. Give it a, yeah. a fly by. Well, if we were doing this live, we would tell them to come right now. But since it's not live, they'll be seeing this on Saturday. So if they don't know where to go smoke in London, you have just given them a place. I think yeah. so. Apart from the other Very two easy. places that I frequent, which is smart. Enough. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Number yes. six. And Paris. only two other and, places. Yes, yeah. and Tom Tom. Well, those are Number six Cavendish. Actually, and- actually, oh. actually, actually, actually. What I'm going to do is next week, yeah. I'll do this at TomTom. Tom. Okay. Are they sponsoring the show next week or are you just doing a shout out for free? No, no, no. no. I'm, 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 giving, I'm giving a shout Sponsorship out. Sponsorship is, a, is a crass topic. Sponsorship is a crass topic. <laughs> what okay. they're doing is they're supporting the show. Really? I haven't gotten any cigars from them. Usman, have you gotten cigars from TomTom? Tom? I have, actually. Actually, you have. Actually. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> The fun part, the fun part is, I was gonna say, Christian, beware. This one is gonna spoil your sh- the customers next week, but he's gonna do all of this crazy stuff at Tom Tom. And technically, and in, 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 in our language, that's not like Tom Tom, that's like the place or what they say. Osman, to be Tom, to Osman, be the Habano the circus yes. may have left town, but my circus has just arrived. There you go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now, wait a second. When you go to Tom Tom's next week, are you going to get one of those little microphones you can wear like for 20 bucks on your collar so there's no, no outside I, I, noise and everything? I, I, no, because, 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 to because wait, at Tom Tom. I'm going to ship, wait, wait, Raza, wait. I am going to go on Amazon and yeah. ship him to his address because <laughs> that's the only way he's going to get it. Otherwise, he's going to get it. He's like, oh, that's I true. Forgot. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. There. I'll be sitting in the private lounge downstairs. No, no. Will you get? Voice. Will you get reception from the private lounge downstairs? That's one yeah. of the only places yeah. in London where that, you get full I'm reception. Okay. You get full okay. reception. Now, are we going to interview Christian as well? Are we going to have an interview with Christian? Why or, not? Is, or if, if I'm just saying, there, if he's there, I'll get him to jump in. Well, like, so first of all, Amish, who's sitting opposite me, jumped in. We'll get Christian to jump. Son, in. That wasn't an interview. That was a jump in. They, I mean, is he going to like I sit there and jump-ins. actually? <laughs> so do I, but she's got to be 18 to 25. Um, so, but I'm just saying, so are we going to, is Christian going to jump in then? And is he going to know you're there? So he'll bless us with his presence or is he going to call in and say hello? No, 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 no. He'll be on, he'll be on my screen. Right, right. But if he's not there though, he won't be on anybody's screen. Ah, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work out something. You have a week. I'm just saying, I don't want to like put any pressure on you, Mr. It's a filthy, filthy I, I, habit. I can <laughs> also feel pressure even when it's put on me. I'm well aware. It's kind of like <laughs> pressure. <laughs> so. The best part is... No pressure, <laughs> no diamonds. Okay. The best part is that the day we record is not Christian's day off, so I hope he will be able to get the place and not kicked out because the only uh-huh. time... He gets all his privileges is when Christian is there. Well, it's always the first time. I, 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 I'm, I always like to push the boundary just to see at what point I will get kicked out. <laughs> right, right. I, 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 think, I think you already know where, do you, where, 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 where the boundaries just limit at the places in London. Yes. So let me ask you this. Is, so, 
Some places it's are quite sensitive about characters like me. And, uh, I can imagine. And, is, uh, is, is Tom Tom a private club or is anyone can go? No, it's, an, it's, it's, it's anyone can go. It's, it's, so, it's, a, it's a cigar shop and a cigar lounge. Right. Uh, what does that say? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Good point. Yeah. But, but you're saying you can get kicked out of it. How can you get kicked out of a public cigar lounge? Because of Easy, Pidraza. Easy that, when you go out. Because of Pidraza. Because okay. of Pidraza, that's it. <laughs> so when I come to London, I, when I come to London, I have to have Usman come with me. I see that when now. When you come to London, we're going to do the Trinity. We're going to do Art Here? Stars, Tom Tom, and my other favorite, number six. Number six, yeah. Cavendish, yes. I know. Yeah. Those I are the three. Now, 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 Raza, now that you've done this here, and you plan on doing the next one at Tom Tom, you should yeah. actually do one from number six, Cavendish. Number six. Also, given the fact that these days, they have that outdoor know. city. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're a big celebrity now in the United Kingdom because of the show. I'm surprised they're just not begging you to show up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think people already have <laughs> ideas about what they can say to me and what they can't say to me. <laughs> you're too, you're just, you're, you're, he's too much. I'm a lunatic, I'm a lunatic on the edge. I could go in any direction. Uh, we've heard that about you, by the way. You can go in any Thank direction. You. So well, you're welcome. Not, yeah. not in that, not in that sense. <laughs> so, well, have, this has been, uh, yeah, go ahead, Jason. They have actually, they have actually named a cigar after him now. The JFR really? lunatic. Yeah. The job. Very nice. Very nice. The, the JFR guys have actually made a cigar. Limiting. The only problem is that cigar is actually very true to its name. Holds absolutely true to its name. I would not even pick that up any given time to even look at it, let alone smoke. Nice. Very nice. Well, gentlemen, it's always, it has been a fun morning to spend with you this Saturday for the people that yeah. Hollywood Saturday, as we say. And we will be back next Saturday and hopefully... Our our resident um, non AI person Riza will be at Tom Tom's. <laughs> and, we'll and, see. And don't forget the word resident starts with Reza. Yes, we're well aware. Oh. We're and also you're the host of your own show here, so it's it's all you. And the three of us next week will all be smoking cigars because hopefully there'll be no rain here when you say in cigars, Texas. You have normal cigars, Cubans. Um, I have so if my Cubans arrive, I will have it if I don't smoke them all before I see you guys. Yes, I'm like when my Cubans come in, I'm like a little kid on crack cocaine. Man, I got it. I smoke them like there are no tomorrow. The drug theme of the show. I know. There you go. So you know. Yeah. This is like yeah. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> Rizzo, we like your new. I like we we like your new setup and your four new dolls. It's very nice. I see your wife gave you a nice area, which we really thank her. Um, and it had good internet. So thank her for like, you know, letting you use the internet from the house today. Um, not stealing it from the neighbors. We appreciate that. Rizza, it's always good to see you when you're non AI generated and we're glad you're not quitting smoking. Um, according to the video last week, you were, um, cause it's a nasty habit, but you're never going to live down. We're going to get shirts. David's going to make shirts for people to buy. It's a nasty habit and put Rizza's name on the bottom. So, you know, you can go to the merch store and check it out. Uh, filthy. Sorry about that. Uh, none of us think that way, though. So we want to thank everybody, especially the gentleman that's letting Rizzo sit at his cigar store, smoke cigars, um, and the cigar companies that we're all smoking. We thank all of you for watching and listening. Don't forget, catch us every Saturday morning wherever you get your podcast here on YouTube. If you want to be a guest on the show, which reminds me, don't leave the show when it's over. I have to tell you guys something because I may have a special guest and I want to run it by you guys before she shows up um, for one of the upcoming weeks. Um, and that's it, everybody. We will see you all, as they say, next week. Anything else anybody wants to say before we go bye-bye? Bye-bye. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, <laughs>